Hello, friends. Thank you for joining me for another bonus episode in the series in which I'm sharing our family's experiences in the last year of our daughter Hannah's life, which spanned from February 2008 through February 2009. My desire is to process through the events of those 12 months with the perspective that 16 years has brought and to point people to hope in Jesus along the way. I'm grateful you've joined me. This is bonus episode number 32, Starting Chemotherapy. March 17, 2008. Today's episode will be in the form of an email that I sent on this date 16 years ago. Hannah had two appointments in Little Rock today, one for her radiation treatment at Carti and one with an oncologist at Children's Hospital. The oncologist filled us in on the details of the chemotherapy treatment. Hannah will take a pill called Temidar every day for six weeks while she's undergoing the radiation treatments. After that, she will have a month off from all treatments. Then she will take a higher strength of Temidar for five days out of each month for approximately the next 10 months. She will begin taking the pills tomorrow evening. They really don't expect significant side effects from this treatment. The most common side effect is for blood counts to drop, and she will have to return to Children's Hospital weekly so this can be monitored closely. Bethany also returned to the doctor today. She'll be having another ultrasound of her liver and spleen this week to check her progress in recovering from mono, and she had some new blood work done today. She is still running a low-grade fever and not feeling well. Please continue to pray for Hannah as she begins to take the chemotherapy drug. She did have a little spell of nausea this afternoon, possibly related to the radiation treatment this morning. We are thankful that, so far, for the most part, she has been feeling really well. Also, please remember Bethany in your prayers, as she is still struggling to feel better. Thank you so much for your faithfulness in praying for our family. We have really felt God's presence and His peace over the last few weeks. Hard to believe it's been three weeks today since Hannah's surgery. He truly is good all the time. Jill and Brad (laughs) 